Hello, my name is Liam Dunn 23 and this is a commentated run of One Piece World Seeker Any% Percent. This will be done on the beginner difficulty as it is the fastest, as well as allowing fast travel. Because it's in the name, fast travel. Right off the bat, we have a cutscene to skip and some dialogue to mash through. The fastest way to do this is alternate between the A and B buttons on Xbox or X and Square or Circle on the PlayStation controllers. The game is also very heavily in a tutorial mode right now, so it's going to lock us out of most of our skills and basic movement technique. As you can see here, until this second pop-up window, I won't be able to sprint. Now I can sprint, but I'm still not able to jump or attack. Luffy will spot an enemy right around the corner, stop in his tracks for a moment, and then as I approach the enemy, a few more pop-ups to mash through, then I can finally do my first basic attack combo of the game. Funny enough, which combo you get is entirely RNG, which can save or lose us some time later on when we have more enemies. After a bit more running, another pop-up window, this time telling us we can finally jump. Then another pop-up window on the top of these rocks, telling us about the material gathering function in the game. At this point, you'll see that I'm spamming jump attacks. This is very slightly faster than regular ground movement in observation hockey mode, which the game is going to lock us into until we get halfway through chapter 2. As we run past the enemies here, we won't do the jump attack because if Luffy locks onto the enemies, he will come to a complete stop. Finally, we learn about Gum Gum Rocket, but the game still only lets us grapple up to ledges for now. We make our way back towards the next trigger, which tells us about marking enemies in stealth. No way, this is the music video where the guy dressed in a maid costume. Mm. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fucking love this video. And finally, we enter the cutscene that ends the prologue. Oh, I didn't squeeze through the tiny gap. Now we make our way towards the church, only grabbing onto trees if they're just within reach. Oh, it's so stupid. Like, what's... I've done it once, maybe I like 10 attempts, but it feels so good. Just so clean, getting through that gap. I'll never do it again, though. Keep losing. Once we mash through this dialogue, we have another fight, this time with two sailors. If we're lucky, Luffy will do his spin kick attack twice and knock these guys out in two hits. If he does a different combo, we just cancel into a dodge and then back into our combos. Once we're free, we're now on our way to Freed Chopper, the ship's doctor. The game will teach us about using observation hockey perception, which is really helpful for trying to find certain things. Luckily, I know where everything is, so I will only ever be using this right now as the game forces me to. The game also teaches us about aiming and using gum gum pistol, and this is super helpful since headshots are absolutely the fastest way to deal max damage. Do the cringe method of grabbing the piece by slug jumping off the top of the pillow. We will also try to collect a bit of scrap iron here for the attack ring much later on. Three. I got all my scrap. That's a really good sign. Huge. Alright, that pays for the last split, I guess. Not much, but if I get another one of those, then. Now that we've freed Chopper, back to the church to talk to John. Can I go down to the middle spring head first? I'm not sure which direction this will be. She tells us where our ship, the Thousand Sunny, is, and we start making our way. I was gonna go down this way anyway. So maybe not. Yo. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Along this path here, once we get to the cave, we will collect from a couple of spots on the way in and out, hoping for pure iron, also for the attack ring later on. No question is, Cryptic, can you read the mix? Can I run? Can you read the mix? Listen to that twice and I still don't know what it means. The mix. Can I read the mix? Hey, the mix. 
Thankfully, we're just one fight away from unlocking Armament Hockey Mode, which allows us to deal much more damage, as well as traverse the ground much faster thanks to Luffy's Hawk Whip attack. From the bottom of it, and there's like stuff leaking out that I guess I didn't get to. It's all over my, uh, all over my desk now. Good hey. job. Well, so you don't after we have unloaded our headshots into the big dude, we'll either Hawk Whip or attack cancel, uh, attack cancel chain the remaining two enemies. Damn it, oh, slow fight. Now we're free and we can hawk whip to our heart's content. Around this area, we're also going to be collecting two mini express shrimp. Fast travel still isn't unlocked yet, so we have to keep moving on the ground since it's faster than grappling for now. We equip the Thrill Badge after talking to Buddy here, and then we make our way towards our new destination. Uh, can you get height please, actually? Why did you just glide? What? Okay, well. uh, sure. You are not a pure iron. Oh. 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 Chicks. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so long ago, Cryptic. Yeah, that's why I don't remember that, I guess. What are you not a fan of dude chicks? Oh, it's over, man. <laughs> Can I get up? No, it's Zobo. Bruh. Alright, well, I get fucking owned again because I never get a good split, I guess, but it's okay. Now I get to go piss. Once we get there, we'll be told about hiding in barrels, which we won't be doing. We'll now make our way into the Navy base, looking for one of our crew members. We end up encountering Smoker instead, which is supposed to be our first real boss fight. Right at the start, we pop Smokey in the head a few couple times, dodge his homeboy, and then we pop the barrel beside Smokey. This will stun him and drain most of his health, now only requiring us to pop him in the head a couple more times. Maybe. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, nice. Nice clean fight. Oh damn, yeah, that was actually nice. Once this is done, the game can finally begin. We unlock Gum Gum Rocket automatically, and we upgrade it immediately. This will allow us to fly farther and faster. I'm honestly starting to wonder if taking hits from that with that guard to your left is actually better than, you know, avoiding it. Maybe. So I'm usually trying to guard. Well, it seems like when he, when he does, like, the two hit, right at the end of it, when you, like, get control back, it seems that Smoker's, you know, like, out of his immunity phase. Oh, I want a free chance to keep us. Who knows? Let's go. I spiraled anyway. We make our way to Steel City to talk to a grandma. Really? 
mean, to be fair, I need like a 17 or better, but like, I don't care enough, so I'll take a sub. Then we go across a bridge to talk to John. Okay. Wait. Oh, that was here. No way. I don't believe that. I thought he was on the wall. What? Now we go across the water to the Navy base to trigger a cutscene. Oh, the budget defro. Yes, when? Then we rocket deeper into the navy base to unlock a fast travel point, and immediately fast travel back to Steel City. We turn around right away, and although I don't do this here, I'll detour to grab a free side quest that I can turn in instantly for 300 skill points, which will allow me to buy damage up early. Um, uh, no, just like, stop. <laughs> stop, please, come on. We then go to the slums to fight some baddies and one-shot them. It's too bad. Oh no, it's it's you. Well, Santa, no, it's you. Funny ambiguous. Well, not ambiguous. Then fast no, travel back to Steel City. You know I mean? Non-confirmed. <laughs> There's birds. Wait, this is a. It's not. What? Then we go forward a bit to finally meet up with Nami, our ship's navigator. Have a brain challenge. Yeah. Oh, brain hey. challenge? I failed since birth. After a bunch of dialogues, uh, dialogue and some skipped cutscenes, we go back to the slums by fast traveling to Steel City again. It's kind of dumb to go for because it barely saves time, and if you don't get it, then you lose, but I guess first split, wait, why not, right? I'm gonna try and be a little bit quiet though, to respect my neighbors, because it's like midnight, so... Fuck your neighbors. Nah. We're, we're partying. Fuck it them. It doesn't, like, affect me much to just talk a little bit quiet though. You're admitting defeat already. No, just turn up the stream, smile. <laughs> turn up the stream, smile! I need another RNG reset. Let's do Metal Harbor. Green Hill's not working for me. You know, it's a After a quick boss fight, we upgrade our movement speed and then fast travel to the Navy base. 30 seconds ahead going into Frankie Split, basically. This is really good. Let's go. No. Okay. Lost a bit of time there, but it's fine. I was way too far to the right, and then I was way too far to the left. Come on. I'm setting up for this trick way too fast lately, trying to save, like, frames. And it's been owning me. I need to stop doing that. Like, that's so much easier and better. That might be ah, I didn't. We then make our way across a bridge to a sea prison. Here we have to activate a lot of switches in specific spots. Ideally, without getting spotted by the enemies, as they can stun you while you're trying to hit switches.
I'm waiting off. I keep setting up too quickly. It's putting my head to wait a little bit. One of the biggest things in, in my life that I hate the most is waiting for the oven to preheat. Yeah. <laughs> this is like torture, but daily. Yeah, when you're like waiting for food, but you have to wait to wait for food. Ah, oh, goddamn marine found me. No, dude, why did you ooms? That was gonna be it. That was gonna be the 115, dude. Oh, it was so close too. I know. It's okay. Yeah, good pick. It's okay. No, I'm gonna have to checkpoint it now. It's cringe, and I don't care anymore. Once we passed the stealth section, we go to Frankie's cell, but we're stopped by a pacifista. We pop him in the head a few times, and as soon as he hits the ground, I use Red Hawk to finish the fight. No, I got it. Perfect. Let's go. At least I'm consistent now, but that's not. Uh, if you get red boxed all the time anyway, it's not like it means anything. We finally meet up with Frankie, our ship right, and then we fast travel back to the Navy base. A little slow on that, but it's not too bad. When's the next day you want to watch more uh, One Piece, Liam? Um, I'm thinking probably tonight after I get the world record. Like <laughs> the Let's go. I mean, you have work tomorrow, and it's probably going to be wait till way later. I gotta work tomorrow, yeah. And then I'm meeting Savak after work. Is that in, like, your area, then? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, he came here to fly out to GDQ, and then he, uh, I think, uh, came back to... Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Good job, Liam. Uh, and then he came back to probably, like, visit family and shit. Nice. Power? Oh, no. This will save time, so that's good. We meet up with Nami, Frankie, and Jean, and Frankie makes us a power ring. We equip the power ring, grab the Crystal Canyon fast travel point, then fast travel to the Navy area where we fought Smoker. Uh, like, it's not gonna be a big issue. Like, it's still gonna, like, one-shot the robots coming up here. Bro, yeah. I didn't think I was gonna land, so I didn't charge. A thrill badge. Why is Lugizi the easiest skip in the game now? It's so Lugizi. I can do Lugizi more than I can do Final Rush skip, I think. <laughs> like, my consistency for Final Rush skip is so bad. We end up in a small village where we have to collect two spiky carrots for an upcoming quest later. I just love the stage, it's fun. Like, why would you not want to do Lugizi? FR skip is good, it saves a lot of time, but it's not fun. This, this is fun. So, I spend all my time doing this. <laughs> And save like a second. Yes. Once that's done, we make our way up to fight some robots with Zoro, our ship's swordsman. These robots are always the hardest enemies in the game, purely because they're annoying to hit. Mouse keyboard gamers who are used to first person shooters will likely find these guys much easier to deal with, but I'm a controller gamer, so I just try to one shot them and pray. I just don't yeah, there you go. Really. Like, messing is overrated. Once the fight is done, Zoro tells us to go free Robin while he deals with his DLC plot, so we make our way up the tower in three grapples. Yeah, well, it could have been worse. I could have been a lot worse, so. I should check my phone to see if my parents have texted me. Which they definitely have. Yeah. Once we try to open Robin's cell, Toshigi decides that she wants the smoke, so we pop her in the head three times. I have a hard time with this though, so I like to hawk whip her right off the bat to stun her and then land my headshots. There you go, all right. No, oh my god, I lost just three seconds there. Standing literally touching, and he 
wasn't opening it, because he likes to be a little... After that, we finally free Robin, our ship's architect, and fast travel back to the nearby village. But I should be pretty close to world record pace now, once I finish this split. Yes. We turn in our quest, then we fast travel back to Sapphire Town. Dude, okay. Okay, I'm what? I'm a minute and four seconds ahead of P uh, PB now, which means I'm five seconds off world record at the moment. Oh shit! Wait, you're gaming. I just gotta carry this through to the end of the run now. We are not that far in at all. We're like. Here we will talk to two different NPCs, one to start Brooks' quest line and one to pick up Karu, which is part of Law's DLC for some reason. Karu is cool, because their running speed is faster than Luffy's. They can double jump and auto-collect resources. Because of this, we hope to collect another pure iron on our way to Ruby Town. Huh. So I feel like my Sonic's been kind of good re recently. I'm getting like, way better at that. I might go for a 22 one day. Like a low 22-ish. I'll go for the frog mop, because it'd be funny. I guess I'm gonna bop both the frogs. Bop the frogs. Maybe not with this hidden base, but I'll get better at the stage by then. Alright, look at that. I don't even need to go to the chest. Here we encounter Usopp and start his quest. We have to make our way through the mine and find three quest items, which are in specific locations. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Egg Golem. I might actually hear a story for a bit. I were better than this. I might hear a story for a bit. <laughs> I don't know why, I just suddenly, like, I'm not terrible at the game now. Which is kind of cool. You were never terrible. Well, yeah. After doing this, we meet up with John and Usopp again, then we fast travel to the top of the mountain. Last time I was doing Hero Story, I was just playing really bad. I think it's because I was playing it a lot. So now I haven't been playing it lately, it's been like... You pick bad? Well, I don't know. Let's try something. Why not? Alright, we're trying. What are we trying? Try. We make our way around the corner to see a cannon that totally won't come into play later. Then we fight some marines. Doesn't get seized, get stopped doing hero story. Yeah. Inevitable. <laughs> I like how you put new game in your fucking thing, like, oh yeah. I didn't do that. I downloaded someone's sports. Uh, imagine not doing your own splits. Imagine working for no reason. <laughs> I can't. True. I, I never had fucking. I never had splits when I did DMC three. I couldn't. That was on PlayStation. Okay, I'm gonna officially be a uh, world record pace uh, once the splits finished. Let's go. We fast travel back to Ruby Town, turn in our quest, then make our way over towards the graveyard. Seconds ahead, which means if I can keep this pace, I will be like 14 seconds ahead of world record. We find John at the bridge, talk to her real quick, then make our way around the pond to go fight some baddies. Easy fight. Angle that I wanted to be at, so. 
And I was like maybe a couple pixels away from where I wanted to be, so I tried to keep adjusting and it didn't let me time it right because I was too busy adjusting. And now I'm literally about to go on 30. Come on, dude. God, How do you unroll man. every single. No, like, no, I'm just not. Like, shut up. No. <laughs> like, no. What? God damn, Liam. What? Your movement looking clean, bro. Thank Holy you, dude. Shit. Yeah, you've definitely been improving. Come on, give me the small flower. Yeah, there's a few of these guys. Then we fast travel back to the graveyard. Here we will try to pick up one or two small flowers required for the tack ring later. We turn in our quest, and finally we can do Sanji's quest. 15 seconds. Let's go. Oh wait, I'm going to the wrong spot, I'm going to the wrong spot. So I'm losing, I lost, oh, lost about 5 seconds there, but that's okay. Can we, can we time this in IGT, please? I had to pause the vans, because hmm. I was in the wrong part of the fucking tomato. After fast traveling, we make our way up the stairs, talk to Jean, and Sanji comes running from nowhere because there was a lady. He tells us to go get a recipe from Misubi, so we go looking for Misubi. This is an IGT speedrun, and I don't want it any other way, please. Never mind, the run's dead. No, I just didn't stick to the ground. Oh. I keep worrying about my angle too much. Her kid tells us she ain't here. So we go looking for her again. We find her in some totally random spot and give her our two spiky carrots from earlier. She tells us about some baddies, so we go fight them. Manager. Task manager! <laughs> Task manager for ADHD people. <laughs> Just end the faults. Yeah. In the old route, people would buy a gum gum UFO to hover across this gap, but it was later discovered you could just launch off this tree for like two feet away. No pre fight cutscene from Luffy, just like with the Pacifist fight earlier, and we take out the baddies in record time. Bomb it. Come on, Luffy, just interact with the treasure chest, you bitch. We grabbed the chest and fast traveled back to Sanji, turning in our quest as he tells us about sending off crew members with lunches to gather materials. Oh. Only lost three seconds there. Like scoop. Yeah, I'll get the ice key for you. We fast travel back to the sunny, talk to Law, then talk to everybody on the ship. Then some kids tell us that people are beefing in Sapphire Town Square. We buy a bunch of upgrades here, namely our second attack up perk, Focus. Uh, which slows down time, and an additional accessory slot. We equip our Thrill Badge from earlier and try to one-shot some robots. Skip, but... Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, now we go. Oh my god, thank you, Luffy, you amazing, beautiful human being. Oh. 
Um. What the f dude? Okay, that was bullshit. This, I hate robots, dude. I cannot imagine playing against them at two times. Then afterwards, Jean is shocked that her big brother is doing such horrible things, like unleashing robots into the city, and then runs off to the graveyard. Don't worry, she'll do this at least another time later on. I can't play tail stages if I can't pause reliably. Okay, well, yeah, goodbye here. That's annoying, because I actually kind of wanted to play Hero Story, but now there is a Wolverine, I guess, being like that. Sometimes when I press right bumper, it presses it twice, and since that's my main pause button, like, I can't pause to have it immediately on pause up every pause hover I do. So... Dead. What? Man, I was getting into it. Dude. Who wants to buy me another Wolverine real quick? After this, we come to the funny chapter 7. This chapter has six mandatory side quests. Great. We launch across the river to start our first side quest, Divided We Stand. Then you know, I almost bought myself Wolverine until I look at the price. I'm not... Wolverine isn't worth that shit. It's a controller. Yeah, it is. It no. changes your life. Dude, I doubt it will do anything for me. Wait until you feel long. Controllers are controllers. I kill a lot of them. Then we fast travel to Steel City to start our second qu side quest, Warmongers. We go around the corner to hit the second flag for Warmongers, then go hit the second flag for Divided. Because I've been playing not hunting for like the past 20 minutes, great. Oh, it'll wear off. Dead. Dude. The only bad beginning room set. <laughs> There's literally one, and it's that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you were never. I was almost playing Hero Story. After looking for Fred's friends for like 10, min 10 seconds, they tell us he's at the warehouse, or the lighthouse. So we'll come back for him in like 10 minutes. We fast travel back to Sapphire Town to start a third side quest, True Treasure. And although I don't do this here, this is for the upgraded route later on. Oh no, it's 50-50. It's definitely worth punching for. It can save so much time. Dude, get height next time. We fight some baddies, maybe use the Eagle Storm, then fast travel back to the graveyard to finally turn in Divided We Stand. Oh, how is this any kind of fair? Bro, I got caught in a collision during Eagle Storm. Did you see that? Why do, there the, why do the stairs have that collision? What the f really dumb. Thank you. Dude, that's actually stupid. Thank you for understanding my pain. Why is this ping literally ambiguous? Wait, Liam, how much of the run have you left? Uh, another, uh, 30 minutes? 30... 40 RTA? Stop being too low for the... Oh, you. Then we fast travel up to the town near the sea prison to start our fourth side quest, Consideration. Very short, 
We talk to one NPC on the left, and then another near some houses. Then we go to the ship, skip a cutscene, and rocket ourselves in a very stealthy fashion to release some hostages. We fast travel back and turn in our second quest. I almost got discovered there, that would have been really bad. Okay, legally blind, I love it. We love to see it. Thanks to you. No, it looks like they is real. <laughs> yeah. It's because my parents are like at a hotel taking a holiday or whatever about me. Shouts to being 18 and deciding that you can not go with them if you want. So I didn't go with them. Guess what? Yeah, I gold did that split. Crazy. It's the first time I ever had the house myself, and I don't have a ring over. <laughs> now we fast travel to Emory Plaza to start our final two, fifth and sixth, side quests Treasure Map and Memory Lane. We talk to some kids, then talk to Masubi, then fight some pirates, then fast travel back to Emory, go to town, talk to some dude, we grapple around a bit, talk to some more dudes, and then after this, we grab the radio tower, fast travel location, and make our way to the harbor. Dude, that is such a banger. <laughs> Holy sh**, he, he didn't submit something that's not... He submitted something that's not rap? That's incredible. That, I, I, I lost words with that. On top of that, it's self destruction uh, Yeah, true. On top of that, it's actually a good band. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Did I miss what I thought I missed? No. <laughs> I just got scammed. <laughs> I got, I got scammed. Should I do like a finding stream instead of a Tinder profile? <laughs> finding stream, bro. I would never use it. Tinder is like actually the cringest online dating. And I mean, I'm not judging you if you do online date, but to me as a concept, it's like. I don't blame, because like honestly, yeah, online dating, I've I've tried it and like I've been on a date with like maybe a few people here and there. Or out of the you know, thousands of swipes and the maybe over time hundreds of matches which I showed no interest in and neither did they me kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Over the course of years though, obviously, right? Because it's a numbers game, like thousands of swipes. Tens of thousands maybe even. Okay, thank you so much, Luffy, for showing me the food that you love, even though we're on a speedrun quest, we're on a mission. 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 Here, we finally encounter a warmonger's flag again. Then we fast travel back to harbor and grapple our way to meet Buggy the Clown. One of the, the, the second fastest bet in the stage. Perfect, it's okay. <laughs> Calm it's down. not okay. It's not. I got a ten minute, nine second set. Calm I got. Down. I got a ten second time. For nine second set. Do you know how criminal that is? Cryptic. It's okay. Breathe. It's not, it's not, Breathe. It's cryptic. Okay. <laughs> cryptic. You still have. You still have. You still have. The true pirate king. We get debated though because Kizaru shows up and wants the smoke. By this point, we've upgraded our focus as well as our range meter. This will give us enough hits to almost. Fully deplete Kizaru before you finish off with a Red Hawk. Dude, that will get me so many. Oh, what did I do? Oh, 
What's funny about that? Afterwards, we turn around, do one grapple, and unearth a treasure chest containing the blueprints for the attack ring I've been talking about so much. Finishing off treasure map. A few songs, but I'll listen I think to it's mid. Oh, apparently treasure map did a thing. That's amazing. Even though I hit the button. We continue further into the forest to finish off memory lane by fighting a bunch of pirates trying to mess with some kids. Thanks for the onus. Oh no, I got the war run in the worst time. Why did I go for that? No, we can't get an OE in a seat mode. Ask one of the ball zoners to make that. That'd be more fitting. I think Soul and Ten OE should look weird. Afterwards, we talked to Jean and remembered about Fred all of a sudden, so we fast traveled to the sea prison on the bottom right of the map to go save him. Okay. Cats. <laughs> Yeah, make it FFC, actually. Uh, it's Song's current. Yeah, I'll, I'll die, actually, and then you can do that. Well, I always forget that you can do it that way as well. Failsafe's a funny band, because, like, there's four bands called the same thing, and they're all really unknown. These guys, this is the only popular song that ever made mainstream. They're one hit wonder, and my friend showed me this. I'm like, damn, that's kind of a funky, like, intro riff. It's like not regular structure, and I like that. It doesn't feel like a song. All that's left now is Warmongers, the wonderful action filled three minutes of just tailing Zanji's brothers from the rooftops. Mostly from one spot. Like chicken and fries is almost done. Okay, yeah, luckily we did not fail warmongers. God, let's go. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have to be this worried of failing the easiest split in the game, in the run. I swear to god, yeah. I just want a 12 wall canyon. It shouldn't be this and I'm, hard. I'm 30 seconds. Like, I'm currently on pace for being 30 seconds at a world record, so... I hate how we can't just like we follow him without getting spawned. Why can't we just beat his ass? I mean, we do it anyways. Though the very first time I played this mission, I just I just went straight for him and tried to beat him up, and I was like, oh, I failed. What? I'll be right back. You know what? Come on, take this, dude. Amazing, you gotta love to see it. There you go. He had invincibility. 
after we knock out Germa Double Six, we're finally done with Chapter Seven and can go meet up with everybody in Emery Plaza. Okay, I'm almost two minutes ahead now. This is good. Okay, this is what we're doing now. How do you spot Arid pointing to the right? You turn the camera. It's pretty self explanatory. I only check for certain piece ones, to be fair. So thanks for the company, I don't worry. I'm making a tier list of what. This is the first one we'll actually be finishing. We fast travel back to Sapphire Town again to talk to the first NPC. We activate the second flag. We fast travel back to Ruby Town to activate the third flag. Then we fast travel back to the Pirate Town near the Sunny and talk to an NPC to turn into the two mini express sherm from earlier for a free knuckle ring. It's going to take six years to actually do, but. Because it's not loading, but you know. Like any moment now, this will work. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> So before, in my last run, I went I went to the Sunny at this point, crafted the attack ring, got it for myself. Instead, I'm just going to go straight to the beach, kill, kill the robots, and then, as usual, make sure... We replace our thrill badge for the knuckle ring, and then make our way to the beach to fight some robots. With our new setup, we should be able to one-shot them, no problem. After nuking the robots, we fast travel back to Sapphire Town to turn in our first quest. Now we get to go to here. Okay, I'm two minutes ahead officially. Back. Welcome back, I'm two minutes ahead. Let's go. We chillin'. Then they tell us Fujitaro wants the smoke. So we hop and skip our way over with our tension upgraded and we unload some hits into the guy before popping him with an eagle storm. Oh, cryptic left? Oh, did he actually? Why did he leave? I don't know, probably just now. Two minutes, 16 seconds ahead now.
Back in town, a Yo Sapo? Some say that uh, some say that Jean stormed off to go talk to the Navy, so we follow her. We then fast travel back to Steel City, where the citizens tell us Lucci wants the smoke now and kidnap Jean. Great. Let's go. So we fast travel to Crystal Canyon, turn around to talk to some dude, then grapple our way over to Lucci to give him the smoke. Um, what? Luffy? Oh, you asshole. I just lost like five seconds there. Maybe six or ten seconds. That's fine though. Not a big deal. I still save time on that split. Then we skip a cutscene and grapple around to find some more uh, some more to find Isaac. Too easy. People say some stuff, and then we split and go our separate ways. Here, if I wasn't able to get the pure iron earlier, I can fast travel to Ruby Town to grab a chest containing two pure iron. Lucky me. Oh, I'm so dumb. I spent all my time shopping here, so I'm losing a few. I forgot there was a short chapter coming up here, but I'm dumb. It's whatever. It's another graveyard chapter, I'm pretty sure. Back at Sapphire Town, Jean is mad that the villagers won't play nice, so she goes to the graveyard once again. There's a bit of time here, but maybe like five seconds, ten seconds. Close. We slap her out of her depression for a second time and tell her our crew will obviously help her. There I go. Okay, come on, we're good. Okay, now we go to the sunny. I lost eight seconds. Actually, it was more like six or seven, but I split late. That's okay. Okay. 
We talk to our crew, craft the attack ring, and equip that bad boy. Afterwards, we go to the radio tower to hijack the dude and get John's meshes out to the people. Yo! No! Go. I've never got an attack ring plus plus, or even attack ring plus, I'm pretty sure, so that's pretty sick, dude. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Kind of scuffed, but we're fine. Oh, I even got the quick too. Oh, I didn't even realize that. God damn. Done. Two minutes, thirty seconds. We're doing great. Golded by a few frames, it seems. Liam. What? Oh my God, Liam. What? Yes, some of the best is, is on 102 or 101 or yeah, 102. Yo, that's that's insane. Holy shit. Yeah. Come on, 153. Insane. After this, we try to chill, but Isaac shows up and puts John inside a robot and forces her to attack us. We destroy the robot suit and get Omega pissed. Much damage to her, holy shit. Yo, dude. We go to the Navy base to throw hands with Isaac, but he's scared, so he dips and send his, sends in his goons after us. Eight oh eight damage per headshot, that's insane. But you know what, get up here. There you go. One more? Yeah, one more wave. There we go, that should do it. Wait, there's one more guy, of course there is. And then another guy, because why wouldn't there be? There we go. Okay, a bunch of cutscenes to go through. We got a fast drop back down Rainbow also. Okay. 
After wiping them out with Conqueror's hockey or some sick headshots, we report back to Zhang to let her know that, oh, it's on now. Whatever. The crew tells us that we got robots all up in this joint, so it's time to fast travel. Our current build should be able to one-shot, headshot, all the robots. Eight different locations, bunch of different robots. It was so easy. <laughs> Two one shots, yo, bro. I doubt I'll need it, but one and two. There we go. I don't think I'm buying any more upgrades for the rest of the run. Uh oh, uh oh, please don't, please don't start doing this controller. Oh my god, dude, this is so easy. One-shotting all the robots is so easy! Prison Tower! Should be enough battery on this to last me the rest of the run. Yeah, 37%. Totally enough. Spawning from okay, there's one. There we go. Come on, just get up. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Forget the sunny this time, dumbass. Great if I could land the one shot hits. Jesus, dude. Cool. There we go. God damn it, that was a dumb fight. Okay, sunny time. There we go, come on, sunny time. Mine town, I forgot about that one. Makes it better for me to fast travel from there to the city, though, which is really nice.
There we go. Jesus, I'm just spamming attack by not even hitting. Die, 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 die. There you go. Come on. Eh. There we go. Not going to be three minutes ahead quite, but pretty close, so. Kind of, maybe. We'll see. After finishing off the last group near Sapphire Town, we report back to our crew who tells us to climb the mountain without fast travel. Enter Duck. Aptly named Cockskip. Shoutouts to Mizuzue, formerly Mizuno Neo, for the name. What this skips is the old route of entering Gear Forth to climb or fly up the mountain. While it's a slower climb, we don't suffer the penalty of not being able to build tension, which we definitely need for the Aka Inu fight. Like any other fight, we unload our range gauge into him and try to finish him off with an eagle storm. This move can be funny sometimes, though. Or the enemies can have really funny iframes sometimes, so it doesn't always clutch to the day. After that, Sabo takes us out of the fight and we make our way to the totally non-plot relevant cannon from earlier that shoots us into the sky prison we fell from at the beginning of the game. A little early, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. All that's left now is for me and Isaac to duke it out, but he's still too scared. So his suit of armor won't take damage unless he's attacking us at the same time. We use this to our advantage and either perfect guard his melee attacks or use focus while he's shooting to pop him in the head. We have to hit him three times before he'll become vulnerable for a takedown. He doesn't like to drop his guard after he's summoned robots though, so it's usually advisable to take them out first. Luckily, if you see him drop his guard while you're fighting off the robot, but if you react quickly enough and you're within range, you can use Conqueror's Hockey, which will count as a hit against him. Each hit counts as a mini cutscene. Damn it. Miss some shoot. Come on. Come at me. There we go.
I did it too early. Way too early. Come on, dude. There we go. Okay, we're good. Gotta finish the last part of the fight. So we can get a really low 103. Once you do the takedown, he enters the much, much easier phase of this fight, where we only have to pop him in the head five times to kill him, and timer ends when the game cuts to black. 103.12, baby, that's world record! Look at it, updated, 103.12 by me! That's the world record, baby, let's... Oh! Oh, dude. Oh!